previously on Cashmere Mafia. A date with a woman. Just tell me, do you think I'm capable of being in a normal relationship? I have a lot to learn. An excellent teacher. One of you is going to be married to the publisher of the Barnstead Magazine Group. Congratulations, Mia. So I hear the wedding's off. I got the job. Whether I won or not, I'm not so sure. Catherine, my nanny quit, and I really need you to do your job. Catherine left for the day. What? I saw Davis with uh, Silla Gray, and he was kissing her. Are you going to punish Davis? You bet your ass I am. I told him I was going to take a lover. I have the perfect candidate, Bobby Walsh. Honey, don't forget, I'm on the 4 o'clock to Boston, so you'll have to do Luke's eye drops tonight, and he hates him. So distract him, not knock jokes work for me. Oh, uh, I'll do such as braids before I go. But don't let her sleep, and then they get tangled up and brushing them out's a nightmare. And if she gives you any trouble about that social studies project, you just mentioned the words Hannah Montana concert. She's gonna snap too, trust me. Eric, you got that? Um, Sasha's the girl and Luke's the boy, right? I'll be in the office until 3. All right. I'll check in with you tonight. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mwah. Juliet Draper. Bobby Walsh. Are you alone? Are we all, really? Don't have to be. Well, I'm here, and you're where? London, stuck on a deal. I love London. So get on a plane. I'll make it very worth your while. How I wish. In a few weeks, I'm coming through New York on business. Well, maybe you could fit me in. You're the business I'd be flying in for. And I have a feeling we'd be a perfect fit. <laughs> I'm sure. I have to go. See you soon. I hope so. That's an early call. Something up? Just London with some booking issues. You know what I'm thinking? You, me, Anguilla. That place we love, Capture Luca. That would be a wonderful idea if it were still you, me, before. Just tell me a way I can say I'm sorry that we'll actually land. It's not words or plans. It's time. Relaunch equals change, people. When we say modern man, we mean tomorrow's man. We don't want to reflect where men are. We want to tell them where they're going, OK? If there's an article, a photo spread, anything that could have appeared in last month's issue, we may as well call it caveman and pulp the whole run. <laughs> Understood. Okay, Todd, so tell me who shot the cover and when am I going to see it? Today, Jeremy Falcon. Never heard of him. You will. That is what I'm talking about, everyone. Okay? Thank you. Hey, Mia. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing awkward since I was Jack's hire and I'd been working with him. Why should it be awkward? It was a very amicable breakup. We're still friends. Good to know. They're waiting for you in publicity, and your mother called. Did she say what she wanted? To find out if you and Jack are coming for dinner Friday to discuss wedding plans. Um, let's just write down the messages from now on. Bobby Walsh called from London. Mmm, international phone sex? Didn't get that far. But he does want to fly in and see me. In-person sex? Even better. So this is it? It's gonna happen? You're gonna do it? Of course she is. Look, I'm all for fighting fire with fire, but revenge sex? I mean, doesn't that seem a little yuck? If your husband cheats on you, you're officially entitled to one free yuck. It's the law. OK, what if it's so completely earth-shattering you can't go back? What about that? <laughs> Have a little faith. If Davis can routinely have sex without consequences, why can't I? Because you're a woman. I'm willing to take my chances. Zoe, you haven't been there, and I hope you never are, but I am, with Bobby Walsh in the wings, ready, willing, and able. 
Oh my God. What? Oh my God, good or oh my God, bad? Oh my God, crap. What happened? There's a new blog called Regrets Only and it's like Gawker, except it's about gawking at women in business. Which top Lily Parish cosmetics exec has been seen canoodling all over town with her hot chocolate agency rep? These ladies are sharing more than makeup tips. Hot chocolate? What does that make me? A marshmallow? <laughs> I just dip my toe in the gay pond and I'm outed? Oh no. What? Which newly anointed magazine publisher left stiletto heel marks all over her fiance on her way to the top job, trashing her engagement? Trashing my engagement? It's fine, I can just send my folks a link to the blog and get that off my plate. You haven't told them yet? I will, I've just been so busy and I... You know, I'm just not ready to have that conversation with my mother yet. I just know that she's gonna turn it around and make it my fault and... I just... It's just been two weeks. You know, who knows? Just have to have Jack miss me a little bit first. Okay, so, who knows all this? It's Scylla Gray. What? You're sure? She's already out there taking credit for it. The nerve of her bringing all of you into this. I won't stand for it. What do you have in mind? She needs to be whacked. <laughs> I have a cousin in New Jersey who could take care of this. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, if you're serious. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Hey, did you finish the RPS buyout model? Oh, of course I finished it. Catherine, it's kind of hard to say, of course, about something that was due two days ago. I, I took the liberty of expanding the model. I think you'll find it was worth the wait. Great. And you're actually wearing two different shoes. Oh. <laughs> No, I, I brought two pair. I was just trying to decide. Which do you like better with the suit? That's a suit? Of course. Which one? Uh, I don't, I mean, whatever has a shorter heel. Well, they're both three inches, but I think the black, right? Right. Oh, there's Clayton. Oh, I'll be right back. Hey, so this should be fun, huh? Running up to Boston to convince a couple of kids that $300 million for their Facebook clone isn't a bad deal. I know, but for us to be happy, they have to be happy. How are Joan and the boys? Good, good. Boys are loving St. Paul's, and Joan's keeping the retail sector healthy. Yours? Great. They're just getting older way too fast. Yeah, aren't we all? Where is she? Who? Catherine. Catherine's coming? Yeah. Since when did junior analysts tag along on a pitch? I've been sensing something in the air lately. The younger entrepreneurs have a comfort level when there's a body in the room who's also their consumer. Yeah, underlying body. Hey, Catherine's been all over this one. It's not a reach. And we were once young and hungry ourselves. Can't kick away the ladder once you climb to the top. Go, Trent. Mm. Woohoo! 25, 26, 27. 27 seconds and you still can't open it? Damn it, who do they think is buying thigh firming cream, ninjas? Could you schedule me a packaging meeting tomorrow at 11? You're with International at 11. 10 then. Photo show and tell. Just pick a time that works. And these materials are all wrong. Everybody's doing glossy. I need five matte samples. Please. Thank you. Which Lily Parish exec has been seen canoodling all over town with her hot chocolate agency rep? These ladies are sharing more than makeup tips. Well, I'd certainly like to know. <laughs> Lily, you read regrets only. I get instant alerts anytime my name appears online. I think it might be Sarah in R&D. She has very thick eyebrows. She's married with two kids. Well, maybe it'll give her the push she needs. And while I hate seeing the brand Lily Parish attached to gossip, it did prompt me to ask myself an important question. Are we properly targeting the gay female market? Uh, I don't, uh, mean specifically... No, well, let's get specific. I'm thinking Portia de Rossi for the next campaign. If they're gonna gossip about Lily Parrish, let's really give them something to talk about. Mm. Are you aware of that blemish? I might have noticed a little something this morning. No, it's, it's gone way past little, I'm afraid. I think you should cancel everything on your calendar. I have a lunch with buyers at Vendel's. I have, I have drinks with a big exporter. I can't just blow them off because of... Suit yourself. Do you know what they call a cosmetics executive with bad skin? No. Mm -mm. Don't make me finish that sentence. 
Now let's find out who's gay around here. I hate blind items. Luciana, you know I'm never wrong about projections. Modern Man is gonna relaunch huge. You put your new hybrid convertible on my back cover and I will bundle you in three additional Barnstead brands at block rate. Uh, Luciana, I need to call you back. Women chow down on men? Where's Todd? Please get him up here. San Francisco had to move the conference call to 8 Eastern. Do you want mm -hmm. me to order in? No. And um, Davis is waiting in your office. Davis, what are you doing here? Had a meeting nearby and thought I'd say hello to my lovely wife. Am I interrupting? Yes, a little, but it's okay. What's up? It's been a good day and I was hoping to take you to dinner before Emily's school thing. Sorry, I'm working straight through. I'm gonna have to meet you there. Then take out from that little falafel place we used to? Davis, stop. I told you this morning. I, I don't know. I know, but you have to eat. It's very hard to forgive your husband on an empty stomach. Please, you have to stop trying to make historical reenactments of when we were good. It is what it is, okay? You can't blame a guy for trying. Bye. And Davis, I need a current number for Scylla Gray. Mine are out of date. Calling Scylla, why? Why don't we leave you out of this for once? It's Scylla. It's Juliet Draper. Juliet? What a surprise. I think it's time we talked. Are you free for coffee tomorrow? Oh, I've got to run out to Southampton, darling. I'm back early the day after. Thursday it is then. Where would be convenient? Someplace neutral. Agreed. How about the entrance to the park across from the pier? Shall we say 10 o'clock? How do you take your coffee? My treat. Light. No arsenic. I'm looking forward to it, darling. Why is there a man about to be eaten by a woman on the cover of my magazine? It's the zeitgeist. Female execs are taking over. Movie studios, Silicon Valley, maybe our next president, God help us. The, the whole paradigm is flipped. Men are holding on for dear life. They want help. I'm sure they do, and I get that controversy sells, but honestly, corporate women are faceless cannibals? Who thinks like that? Men. Really? So this is how you see me? I'm, I'm eating you alive? No. Although other men might. Let's say Jack. Why would we say that? Well, because this was Jack's project. He was working on putting this issue together. He approved this cover. When was this? Right before I left. I, I assumed he would have said something. He didn't. We haven't actually spoken. But you said you and Jack were friends. Well, we're not. And I would really appreciate it if you just wouldn't mention his name again, okay? Clive on line one. I need to take this. We'll finish this later. Hi, Clive. Juliet? Juliet? Bobby! Uh, we said a few weeks. I know. I, ever since we hung up, I haven't been able to, to focus. So I'll cut the next flight out, and here I am, focused. You're staying here, in my hotel? Yeah, I figured it was the one hotel in town where you could come and go without question. You think of everything. Lately, all I've been able to think about is you. I want to see you tonight. I can't. A parent teacher. All right, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, there may be a bigger number out there for you guys, but given the economic climate going forward, 
I think we have a fantastic deal in hand right here, right now. I'm sorry, but we just got this figure in our heads. Well, let's just take one last look at the numbers on the table. You know, see, we can't come up with something. <sighs> I'm so sorry I'm late. The hair dryer in my hotel room got stuck in that holder thingy, and so we had to call the maintenance guy, and he couldn't fix it. So then the manager came, and I'm like, hello, guys, late for a meeting. So if I look like a total mess, that's why. <laughs> you must be Raj and Mike. <laughs> this is our research analyst, Catherine Cutler. You're definitely not a mess. Oh, we're still trying to meet on the final number. I was thinking, while I was waiting for the maintenance guy, what if we cut our fee? Would that get her done? A point? You did it for the water fields deal. I think the circumstances are a little different here. So, if we eat a point, you'll call it a deal? <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, yes! Yeah, give it. Oh, yes. You gotta go call the guys. Yes. Thanks, suits. Thank you, Cash. <laughs> I just, I had this sixth sense. You never ever give away the firm's profit, but. <laughs> I'll, I'll handle it. And then just as we're closing in, she gives away a point. Like a piece of candy. And Clayton did nothing. But a close, right? Well, that's not the point. Oh, I thought you went up there to close. Well, I did, but you just, you don't give away the store. I mean. Mm, so the firm makes, what, nothing? Well, I didn't, I didn't say that either. Hey, why are you taking her side? I'm not. I'm just trying to figure out why she gets you so wound up. I hate what she's good at. Which is? I mean, the rack, the bod, the whole blonde man trap thing. <laughs> man trap? Yeah, my mom used to say that. I mean, she's like business Barbie. Room service. Uh, my room service is here. Okay. Signing off, my little man trap. Hmm, nice. Sleep well. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Oh, over in the desk is fine. That's not what you're looking for, but it's a little left. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good morning. Hi. Clayton didn't come down with you? Mm, I think he went to the gym. I know he works out. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. So, I know I probably shouldn't have offered up the point, but you know, I had this instinct, you know, like they needed something from the suits. Yeah, you're quite good at figuring out who needs what. That almost sounded like a compliment. Thank you. Oh, well. Catherine, can I offer you some advice? Of course. Be careful of becoming too uh, intimate with male colleagues, especially the married ones. Oh, well, obviously. Well, in, for future reference, then, at some point, these things end and then you become an inconvenience. And there's no room in business for an inconvenient woman. I mean, that's a fact. Upper management won't take you seriously. All the other analysts are gonna turn against you. I mean, it's a lose-lose proposition that's gonna follow you around for the rest of your career. Thanks, but um, it's really not my style. Ah, uh, breakfast. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Everyone sleep well? Great. Thanks. You? No, would you stop touching it? It's barely even noticeable. Really? Well, now that you put so much concealer on, it's all I can look at. Board of Directors 2003. <laughs> what about it? Last time I broke out like this, night before my first board presentation. Am I supposed to share one of my zit memories now, the too? The point is, it's stress. When I get overwhelmed, it shows on my face. Which, in my business, means you should just stay home and put a paper bag over your head with a hole for lasagna. <laughs> it's not bad enough I'm slammed at work. I get outed as a blind item in this ridiculous blog. Whatever happened to a woman's right to kiss another woman in public without it being posted all over the internet? I hate the freaking internet. Stop it. You're spinning. 
I know, but I was just exploring all of this. And now I'm, I'm a parlor game for board assistants. And I haven't heard from Alicia for days. I don't even know what she's thinking. The phone works both ways. You can call her. I'm sure she's wondering what you're thinking. Really? Come on. Well, I had a lovely little trip to Boston, me, Clayton, and our young analyst, Catherine, and guess which two of us ended up in bed together? Oh. No, it wasn't me and Catherine. Did you, see did you say anything? No, yes, I gave her the big picture speech. You know, when she's standing in a snowdrift with cold winds howling if she continues down there. <laughs> oh. I'm showing up for work wearing a big parka tomorrow. Well, she's not my problem. Clayton's my problem. Good luck with that. You know how men love being dealt with about as much as we do. So, I finally heard from him. Who? J-A-C-K. Oh, Jack? Oh, I knew it. I knew he would come to his senses and call you. What a sore loser. He just needed time to lick his wounds, that's all. Actually, this is the only message I got. Women chow down on men. Damn. This was his final act before leaving Barnstead, approving this cover. Who was I engaged to? Or who did he think he was engaged to? <sighs> did he even love me? Of course he did, just not enough. Mm. OK. All better. Mia, what did you think would happen when you beat out Jack for the publisher's job? Well, he said he'd be fine with it. Because he never really believed you would win. But I thought that's what he loved about me, that I do win. No. Men want to console you and say, don't worry, honey, you'll win next time. I just don't understand how it could have been so far off base. I, mean, I thought he was the guy. I thought we were going to get married. It's your move. Personally, I hate letting the man get the final word. Bobby Walsh is in town. Now? I thought that apparently he couldn't wait. I said I'd see him tonight. Talk about bearing the lead. I didn't want to get the cheerleading squad all riled up. I'm starting to have second thoughts. Do you want me to talk you out of it? In which case, I would open with the remote but undeniable possibility of contracting an STD. Then there's the fatal attraction syndrome. Davis has been on his best behavior. That's big of him. And he's even talking about romantic getaways, going back to this resort we loved in Anguilla. Wow. You ready for that? Not at all. I'm starting to think Scylla was more than the meaningless fling that Davis makes her out to be. What makes you say that? That blog. A fling wouldn't lead to that kind of vitriol. Clearly, this was more. Hell hath no fury like a mistress scorned. So what next? Putting an end to this blog, I'm having a sit down with Scylla in the morning. Good. And Bobby? It was a mistake. We talked and she learned a lesson. An analyst gives away a point at a closing and you talked? What's on your mind, Zoe? You're letting the little head do the thinking for the big head. So that's what this is all about? Catherine, say something to you? No, hotel, Boston, same floor. All right, Zoe, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. This is no big deal. Your sex life is your business until it starts interfering with our business. Hey, there's a version where dropping that point was the only closer. We don't know. Hey, here's what we know, Clayton. If Catherine was a guy, you wouldn't have asked her along. And if he did what she did in the meeting, he'd be toast. <clears throat> so what do you want me to do here? Break it off. I don't ever want to be in that position again. And if you think about it for two seconds, with your pants on. I think you'll agree that neither do you. Hey, stranger. Hey. You recognize my number? Actually, your name came up. Oh, I'm in your address book? <laughs> of course. Though, if I didn't hear from you soon, I was seriously considering deletion. I'm sorry. I just, I wasn't sure. Not about you. Just all of it. Caitlin, I saw the blog. Are you OK? Yeah. Just kind of came out of left field for me, all of this. Can we get together? Let's meet tonight for a drink. We really need to talk. Yeah. Someplace dark would be good.
but Tom tries to escape and is shot dead. So, did Atticus fail Tom? Did the system fail Tom? Hi, all. Hi. Hi, Mom. Oh, Mom, check this out. <sighs> Gotta hear this. What's that? Jenna's mom reads the snooty blog. Okay. Which redheaded queen of mean hotel exec leaves husband and daughter to fend for themselves while she builds vacation paradises for the idle rich? Much more to come on this one. Could that sound any more like you? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Finish up so we can go? Yeah. Probably some bitter designer you passed on once. Probably. You're going out? I got us last minute tickets to Cyrano. My takeaway from that teacher thing last night was we should get away from all the screens more often, get a dialogue going. You're right, and good for you. I uh, got you a ticket as well. And it wouldn't be a historical reenactment of anything besides an old French play. I'd love to, but Please. I... Not for me, for Emily. Let's give her a break from my punishments. Let's be a family tonight. Let me just make a call. Get it? The... Tomorrow, maybe? Not tomorrow either, Bobby. It's a wonderful fantasy, but I have to deal with my reality. I'm sorry to drag you across an ocean for this. Don't worry about it. You take care. You too. Are we doing this? Of course we are. Dirty martini for olives, please. Any single malt on the rocks. What's on your mind? The same thing that was on my mind. Jack? Your cover. Mine and Jack's. Whatever. Look, just off the record, you've put me in a really awkward position. How's that? No right-minded woman with the ability to kill this cover wouldn't kill this cover. You're killing the cover? No, you're killing it. It's a great cover, Mia. It's loud, it's obnoxious, it's gonna make a huge splash. I I'm not killing it unless you order me to. Don't you think we're sending the wrong message here? Should we be telling men that they shouldn't be so threatened when a woman succeeds, that a woman can work hard and be good at what she does, as good as a man? You know what, sometimes even better. And that that man will respect me and love me, maybe even love me more, not just run away and never call, not even to say, hey, how are you doing, how's the job? And, oh, God, I'm sorry we didn't get married, but I'm still thinking about you, huh? How about that? Are we still talking about the magazine cover? Yes. I didn't mean to go AWOL on you. I just, I wasn't sure of the protocol. <laughs> the protocol's like any other relationship you've ever had. Oh, that's a lowered expectation? <laughs> <laughs> no. Honesty. Look. If you're not into this, if, if you've had a change of heart, I haven't. Or my, I haven't. Good, because I like you, little than I know you. But I'm not your lesbian test drive, and okay, time out. Honestly, I have been stressed out of my mind with the usual work stuff and this blog thing and us. Us? If this is stressing you out, then what are we? No, the, the thing is, I get like this, and I just I need you to hang with it. I'm not stressing out because I'm, I'm gay or I'm straight. I don't even care if I'm gay or I'm straight. I just, I need to be in control of my life. And this past week, I haven't been. Okay? I really want to kiss you right now. Is, is it going to be a problem? Not if I'm too close to see it. in 10 minutes. Cohen, aren't you dying to know what happened? I am. No, actually, I feel really weird being in the middle of this. Besides, when she didn't need me, Catherine had no problems avoiding my calls. She's 
probably just intimidated by you. Please, she's like a decade younger than me. She's stunning. Her work, when she does it, is excellent. She couldn't be less intimidated. Yeah, but you know that's just a grade school psych out. If you're scared of the bully, you act tough. And the bully? You're the boss. Again? What the? Answer it. Okay. Hello? It's Catherine. Is it too late? No, it's fine. What's up? I'm in a terrible situation. I didn't know who else to call. Oh? I wasn't honest with you earlier. Clayton and I are involved. We were, anyway. Well, there's a shocker. I know, you suspected. I just wasn't ready to talk about it yet, and... The truth is, I thought we had a real connection, but clearly he was just using me for sex, and now that he got it, I'm suddenly off the deal team and back in the research pool. He said that? I know, can you believe it? I mean, I don't want to have to file a lawsuit, but at the same time, I refuse to be taken advantage of, you know? Let's just take a deep breath. I will look into this tomorrow, and we will figure this out. <sighs> okay. Thanks, so. Zoe. Lawsuit. Hmm. Barbie's all business. It was a nice night. Thank you. I'm glad you came. So was Emily. I have such an early morning. Do you have anything to help me sleep? Yeah, in my travel kit, top drawer. Davis, what made you think of Capture Luca? Hmm? When you suggested an Anguilla trip, we haven't been there in years. In the quiet in particular. In the corner of a road. Darkness moves upon you. Like a cloud across the moon. You're aware in all silence of a constant that will turn blow that out before you go to sleep will you don't forget to breathe don't forget to breathe that looks suspiciously like fake working nobody types that fast What's up? I've been thinking, and I want to pull the cover. You're right. Women deserve better. I know you do. I appreciate your gesture, but we're running the cover. OK, now I'm confused. Maybe men are afraid of women like me, but we all have to face our fears. There is no modern man without a modern woman. Please run this directly after the masthead. Letter from the publisher. Right now, it seems like the only way Jack and I can communicate is through one and a half million readers. You were supposed to end the affair, not kick Catherine off the team. I did end it, but she was very upset. Look, having her on the team just makes it awkward for everyone. Yeah, well, not as awkward as the depositions we're all going to be giving in the lawsuit she's threatening to file. What? Yeah. Oh, this is a mess. Yeah, you're damn right it is your mess. What do you recommend? I don't know, a surgical procedure? The only way out of this is for you to find her an equal or better job somewhere else. How am I supposed to do that? She has next to no experience. She had enough experience to interact with clients on the RPS deal. I see your point. Make it happen. 
Thank you. Better. What did you use? Lily Parish Complete Concealer? No. Barely there? Nope. Well, what was it then? Honesty. We don't have a concealer named Honesty. Just a little something I thought of by myself. Nice. Let's acquire that brand. Silla, thanks for coming. Thank you. I can take the first sip if you like. For what it's worth, he never used you or the state of your marriage as an excuse. And they say chivalry's dead. Why are we here? I understand you've taken up a career in journalism. I dabble. What's done is done. I don't want the fallout hurting people who had nothing to do with this thing of ours. It's one thing to screw my husband. It's quite another to screw with my friends. And if my daughter ever hears anything about you and Davis... I have no intention of Then let's call a truce. Here are my terms. My friend on the board of the Arbogast assures me they're ready to favorably reconsider your purchasing the penthouse. And in return? In return, you cease and desist with the ugliness. Very generous of you. I generally am with most things. My husband accepted. And one last question. Did Davis ever take you to Cap Juluca? Juliet, get off your high horse. You know what? I probably did you a favor. Every good marriage deserves a little flame. I couldn't agree with you more. It's Juliet. I was hoping for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> Are you okay? I can't. <sighs> I thought I could be like him, cut myself off from the vows and the history, but I can't. I. I, I can't be like him and still be me. Maybe a drink would help. <laughs> no. I'm suddenly crystal clear on this. I, I need to keep it that way. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. Hi. Hey. Listen, Catherine, you're a bright girl. I'm sure you're gonna land on your feet. It's for the best, believe me. I know. Good for you. Great attitude. <sighs> From analyst to associate in four months? That's gotta be a record for this office. through with it. I, I was right there, and I chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you lusted after him in your heart. You went to second base with him. Catholics can go to hell for this, so pats on the back all Yay! around. <laughs> the crazy thing is that not doing it has somehow lessened the stress of this entire ordeal. I feel great. You got the revenge without the yuck. 
<laughs> I suppose I did. To no yuck. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Did you kill that cover? Mm. Mm. Are you kidding? The ad sales were through the roof. I'm not an idiot. So Jack gets the final word? Well, hardly. Take a look at this. Mm. Mm. Oh. Dear modern man. You know what this modern woman wants for breakfast? Maybe oatmeal. Bacon and eggs if she's craving protein. Definitely coffee. But relax. I'm not gonna have you for breakfast. So please don't be such a wimp about women at work. It's high time to accept the fact that a woman might not just be your coworker, she could be your boss. And you're gonna have to be prepared to deal, to be a man about it in the true sense of the word. Sure, more working women means more competition, but instead of being threatened by it, be challenged by it. Let's bring out the best in each other. Win or lose, if you're a good sport, everybody wins. Until you get your head around this, you'll be on your road and I'll be on mine. I hope at some point we meet in the middle. Cheers, the modern woman. Every tree has got a root and every girl forbidden fruit and got her teeth. Mom, I have some disappointing news. And she's in my head so loud and screaming. Are you coming to bed? Get me a glass of wine. Sure. Like what you see? Yeah. Very much. White or red? Red, please. And Davis, we're even.